Hi you guys, my name is Nandu Miso and welcome to 21 Attempts. Today I'm going to talk about the six things I do to bounce back from unhealthy eating. This video was inspired by a previous video I did talking about how I develop discipline with food. And in that video I mentioned that I practice what I call the bounce back. The bounce back simply means once I've indulge in food that leaves me feeling crappy i try to avoid spiraling downwards by continuing to eat more food that leaves me feeling more crappy i try to pick myself up as soon as possible and get back to my health plan as quickly as possible i think having a solid uh, a solid bounce back plan is essential for any health plan because I've learned it's not the single cheat day or cheat meal that results in unwanted results in the long run. It's essentially the cumulative effect of consistently not bouncing back as soon as possible. So I in the past would basically struggle to bounce back to my health plan and once I'd eaten a cheat meal and I felt very like sort of physically crappy, I would then like sort of continue eating unhealthy food for weeks and months on end. And so I'm learning to really get to back into the health plan as soon as possible. So I wanted to do this video to urge you to develop your own health or bounce back plan so that you can avoid spiraling downwards once you've started eating unhealthy. Before I mention the six steps that I use though, I just wanted to highlight that you know it is especially difficult to bounce back once you have had a cheat day because health food is so addictive so you need to be very aware of the fact that food companies particularly junk food companies spend thousands of dollars trying to figure out how to make food most satisfying and exciting to you so you need to really be mindful of the fact that once you've started eating junk food it's going to be very difficult for you to actually get back on track and so i've included an, a very useful article by james clear in the description box below for you to basically read a little bit more about why junk food is so addictive and i think just that awareness on its own will help you um, just basically develop a little bit of strength because getting back to your health plan does require a little bit of grit and so you need to to basically have some strength to say no and to yourself to say no to yourself once you actually have eaten unhealthy food right getting back to the six things i do to bounce back to my health plan tip number one don't buy too much junk food when you're shopping for your cheat day I've learned over the years that the success of my bounce back plan really hinges on whatever my actions are when I basically go shopping for my cheat day food. Um, so there have been so many occasions where I'm preparing for cheat day and I go shopping and I end up just buying way too much food for one meal or way too much food for even two meals. I end up buying basically cheap groceries. So I think the first thing to note is when you decide to have your cheat day or your cheat meal, the first thing you can do to help yourself get back on your health plan as soon as possible is to avoid buying excessive junk food in that moment. Of course, it's a lot more helpful if you're going to go buy food at a restaurant um, for your cheat day or your cheat meal because then of course you, you can only eat what you've bought at the restaurant or what you've ordered at the restaurant. And that is obviously also provided that you actually don't buy too much food when you get to the restaurants because I've also been I've also been guilty of that I've also gone to certain uh, fast food outlets and actually bought way too much food uh, you know for for one meal and so the point is whatever you do when you're preparing for cheat day you need to really be mindful of the fact that how much food you buy in that moment is going to determine how successful you are in getting back to your health plan. So what I'm basically saying here in short is when you go shopping for your cheap meal, only buy enough for a meal. Don't go buy cheap groceries. This is important and I feel the need to say it again. When you go shopping for your cheap food, don't go buy a trolley full of or a basket full of cheap food only buy enough for the meal that you want to use as your cheat meal. I really cannot stress it enough. Tip number two, 
Once you're done with your cheat day or your cheat meal, get rid of the excess food. Listen, when you feel full and you've eaten your cheat food and you feel like, you know what, I feel full now, give the food to a homeless person, give it to your neighbor. The point is get it out of your space because if you don't, you will eat it later. You will, okay? Now, I cannot explain to you how many times I've done this. I've basically gone and got myself some cheat food for my cheat day. And I come back, I eat and I feel full and I put some in the fridge. Well, guess what? Later on that day, where am I? I am at the fridge eating the food. So this is what I'm really, I've really had to learn. If I want to bounce back, I have to either buy enough food for one meal. And if I don't, then I, once I've eaten and I'm satisfied, I have to get rid of the food that is left over. I need to give it to somebody else or I need to share it with a neighbor or something. The point is don't keep that access food in your apartment or in your within your space or vicinity because well you are bound to eat it at a later stage tip number three establish a bounce back routine you can call it a ritual or a routine whatever word suits you the point is you need to come up with one and make sure that you stick to it a bounce back routine is essentially an action that you will do once you've eaten food and you feel like, you know what, that food wasn't necessarily the best for me because I'm feeling physically sort of awkward. Maybe you're feeling bloated or you're, you're having stomach cramps, which is what normally happens to me when I eat crappy food. Um, so then the bounce back ritual or routine is essentially something that you will do that will basically tell your brain that I have now entered into my health plan. Okay, so the bounce back routine will look different for everybody. For me, it's pouring water into a water bottle, which I'm going to fetch for you guys to see now. I pour water into a, about a liter of water into a water bottle. And essentially I start drinking that water. And it just that, that, that simple action just really triggers my brain to get back on, on track. And so I think that it's really been important for me over the years to really establish a, how, a, a bounce back routine. So I just do that and my brain understands that, okay, it's time to get back on track now. And I keep drinking my water to just help myself stay focused. Okay, so as I said, the bounce back routine can look different for everybody. For you, it could be drinking a cup of tea to calm yourself down. It could be taking a walk. It could be exercising or it could be meditating. Whatever it is that you come up with, the point is you need to come up, come up with a sort of trigger to let your brain know that you're switching mode and that you're getting back on track. And I find that anchoring that, 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 that sort of thought process in an action um, really helps with the bounce back plan. Number four, do not undermine your bounce back routine. The way you undermine your bounce back routine is by performing your bounce back routine and then eating junk food afterwards. Okay, now that is something that you really need to watch out for and avoid doing. So once you've basically performed your bounce back routine, make sure that whatever meal you eat next is a healthy one and that you at least try and stick to being healthy for at least a day or two. Because once you establish this pattern and habit of undermining your bounce back routine, then you basically develop a habit that you're going to have to work really hard to break at a later stage. So I really, really, really think that it's important not to undermine your bounce back routine. Once you've performed it, then try and stick to a healthy meal plan and basically get back on track and in control again. Number five. Once you have performed your bounce back routine and try to get, back, get, get yourself back on track, avoid your triggers. I did a, a video, um, I think last week about various things that might trigger unhealthy eating. I think it's very important to know what triggers you to overeat or to eat unhealthy food. And once you've basically had your treat day and done your bounce back routine and I'll bet you are back on track again, you need to really try by all means to avoid your triggers. Unless you have set a very practical way of overcoming your triggers, don't put yourself in situations that are going to trigger you to eat unhealthy again. And I say this because I think that Triggers really can contribute to basically getting us to keep spiraling downwards and just sort of eating more crappy food once we've had our cheat day. So 
I think it's very important that once you've basically gotten yourself back on track again, because it's so hard to get yourself back on track, you don't undermine that process in any way. And really just try and avoid your triggers, try and steer clear of any situations, any people or circumstances that could really cause you to turn to junk food. Because if you do, then you're gonna get into the space where you've eaten food to cheats and now you're eating uh, junk food because you've been triggered and now you're just going to continue sort of spiraling downwards like that so I really think it's important to avoid that by either just avoiding your triggers altogether or if you have to encounter them essentially develop very practical ways on how to overcome them okay tip number six and this is the last one don't judge yourself for having the cheat day or the cheat meal. I now understand that the guilt that comes after eating cheat food actually comes from the way that you end up feeling physically. And so the emotions that come afterwards are more a symptom of how your body's actually feeling. Um, so, you know, just the, the guilt is just there to, to give you an indication that you might've done something that wasn't particularly great for your body physically. But, the point, the, the challenge I find with that sense of guilt is that it can lead to self-judgment, which then causes many of us to actually end up spiraling downwards because now we already feel bad about ourselves. And so we kind of do more things almost to, to I don't know, it sounds very twisted, but we self-sabotage in that way. So I think it's important to, to be aware of this, this sort of battle that you're gonna experience once you've eaten cheat food, which is that you might feel guilty and that that guilt could cause you, cause you to self-judge. So avoid self-judgment. Um, the best strategy I've come up with is essentially to get back to my health plan. That's really literally what I do. Uh, if I have a moment and I end up eating junk food and I feel, I feel, like, I feel a bit sick, I feel nauseous or I feel, um, I feel, like my stomach is hurting uh, or I just I'm not feeling very good physically what I do is then I just pour water into my water bottle and I just start drinking my water and I get back on track and I find that that helps me to basically conquer the sense of self-judgment and guilt very quickly and it helps me get back in control again okay right that's all i have for today those are the six things or six tips that i have for bouncing back let me know what you think if you have a bounce back plan or bounce back routine that you'd like to share please share it with me on instagram or share it in the comment section below i'd really like to hear from you thank you so much for watching the video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also to follow me on instagram at vegan underscore attempt as well as 21 underscore attempt i love to talk about things related to food and relationships with food and how we can actually use our food to as a as a method to improve ourselves see you guys next time and stay breezy always always stay breezy <laughs>